Hey guys, um, I'm gonna start this video off with a little story. Um, if you don't wanna listen to it, just skip, but I recommend that you listen to it so you know why my video quality sucks so bad. Okay, before I start the story, this is really weird, but I just saw on the side of your iPhone where it says like that you can film in like high definition and 4K. So my video quality might not suck anymore now because I put it on 4K, but I'm still gonna tell you the story. Hey guys, it's me from the future. So for some reason, I have like half of the footage of me telling the story, but I don't have the other half of it. And I don't know why that happened, but I'm just gonna tell you the more of the story. Basically, my camera microphone just cut out and I have no idea why. And I'm gonna have to get it sent off to get fixed. And I didn't wanna wait like three months to make a vlog. So I just decided that I'm gonna use my phone. So that's why my quality and my sound probably sucks a little bit. That was my story. Now we can finally get on to the video. It's vacation time. Hey besties, my family and I made it to the beach. Let me give you a little room tour. There's the door that you come in, the little baby TV, all of my crap on the bed, the cute little decorations. And if you get up, you have my little shoe collection that my mom organized for me. Shout out to her for doing that. You have a little cabinet that I'm probably not gonna use. And then you have my bed. Also, if any of you are wondering what this bruise on my nose is, I know that you guys probably didn't even notice it, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I was waxing my face by myself at home, like just getting the peach fuzz off. And I guess that this part of my nose just decided to be like, mm, I'm gonna be sensitive. And I bruised myself from pulling off the wax. So that's what that is. I'm just here with my mom and my dad and his side of the family, which is pretty small. And I don't really know what we're gonna get into this week. So I guess I'm just gonna bring you guys along this week and show you whatever we end up doing every day. I just wanted to tell y'all that and tell y'all good night. It's gonna be like three seconds when you see me again, but it's gonna be like 10 hours for me. So good night. There's your little good night kiss. And I'll see you in like 10 hours. Good morning. I still have my retainers in, so just ignore that, please. It's not in the morning, and I guess um, I'm just gonna hang out with you guys today. We might go thrifting later, but we'll see, so. It's pool time again, besties. Okay. Night swimming. so let's just ignore that but earlier i came to a realization that i'm literally just going to keep vlogging me going to the pool and then me going to the beach and then me going to the beach and then me going to the pool and i don't want to bore you guys with like 10 minutes of footage of just the pool and then the beach 
So I'm not gonna vlog again until we go shopping, which today's Monday and we're going Wednesday. So I'm gonna vlog again Wednesday. Before I go to bed, I want to um, tell you guys about the story and the adventure that I had at the candy shop that we went to today that I showed earlier in the video. So at the candy shop, it is $6.98 for half a pound of candy. And I have no concept of how much half a pound is. When you get there in like the little circles of like the different candies that they have that I showed, they have these little bags that you pull out and you get your candy and you put it in the bag. I just pick up one of those bags thinking that like if you fill it halfway it's going to be half a pound and then if you fill it all the way up it's going to be a whole pound. You know, I just thought that they would have it set up that way, but I was wrong. I was very wrong. I just go in, I start getting gummies, wrapped candy, gum, taffy, just everything like because I love candy so I just went crazy and I filled up the whole bag. And I took it to my mom and I was like, hey, like I'm ready to check out whenever you are. And she was like, okay, how much candy did you get? And I showed her and she was like, Rebecca, that probably weighs like five pounds. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we went up and had the workers weigh it and it was like three pounds and whatever ounces. And she was like, your total's um, like $42. And we were like, uh, can you just hold it for us while we finish shopping? So we walk away and I'm like, mom, I'm not letting you buy me an almost $50 bag of candy. Like I'm not doing it. But we go back up there and we're like, um, can we put some candy back? Like, is that allowed? And they were like, oh yeah, of course, because they have like the gummies and they have like tongs that you pick them up with. So we can't put those back obviously because they're like all sticky and like mixed in together, different flavors. But then I had like package candy that already came pre-wrapped and they were like, yeah, you can put the pre-wrapped candy back. And, you know, we were like, okay, thank you so much. So I put like more than half of my candy back and then the total was $18. And we were like, okay, that's way better. 100% <laughs> recommend the candy store though. They had ice cream, they had a little mini carousel, they had stuffed animals, crazy amounts of candy, like anything you can think of. It's worth it, but just if you get a bag, weigh it as you go because the price can catch up too fast. Also, I bought uh, the fruit jellies. I know that you all have all probably seen those on TikTok. The bag's already open because my cousin's boyfriend got into it and tried one and he was like, you should try one tonight. Like, they're so nasty. And I was like, no, they're probably so good. Like, everybody on TikTok loves them. And I was scared to like pop it in my mouth. So me and my dad sat there and like we were like anticipating popping one in our mouths for like 10 minutes and we finally did it. Unpopular opinion, they are so gross. They are so gross. I did the purple one and my dad did the strawberry. The flavor wasn't bad. It's just like, it's chunky. Like I thought that it was like a liquid, like you know what I mean? But it's like literal like jelly. Like it has a weird texture. So if you like that, get these. But if you don't like weird textures, I don't recommend them. I am gonna try more flavors though and see if it's any better. I think that it just freaked me out where it just like popped and then it was just like, it went into my mouth and it was just chunky. I just wanted to tell you guys all of that. So good night, I love you and I'll see you when I go shopping. We made it home. Yesterday we left the beach at like four in the morning because we just really wanted to get home and sleep and unpack and all that good stuff. And we ended up getting home at about 10.30 in the morning, which was really good. I was gonna vlog when we got home, but I was just so tired and out of it. So like I said, we just unpacked and chilled out all day yesterday. I slept so good and now we're here. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got shopping. I didn't get that much because we were all just kind of ready to go home. It was super hot and we were just really tired and hungry. So I don't have a lot of stuff to show, but I do have good stuff to show. I'm setting on my toilet to film this because there's no other good place to set the camera up in my house. But the first store that we stopped at was Ross and I didn't go in, but my mom and my aunt and my cousin went in. My mom got me this really pretty Calvin Klein makeup bag. And then she got me these super pretty Tommy Hilfiger socks and she got all of these for 10 bucks. 
10 bucks at Ross, guys. Go get some. Then we went to the outlets and went to the actual Tommy store. And I got this super soft pair of long socks. They feel so good. Then I got this sweater that says Tommy jeans on it. I'm so sorry that the lighting is being stupid right now. And if you've ever been to an outlet, you know that the point of an outlet is that everything is on sale. So all the items that I'm showing, I got for probably like 30% and up off. After that, we went to Calvin Klein. I got a white and a gray sports bra and then just a plain black bra. I'm not gonna show them because I'ma play it safe. I don't know if I'ma get demonetized for showing bras or not but I'm not gonna show them. I definitely do recommend Calvin Klein's bras, whether it be a sports bra, a regular bra, a push-up bra, whatever. They're just all super comfortable. After we went and got all of that, I went to the Journey store because I was gonna get a pair of Converse, but they didn't have the collar that I wanted, so I just bought this ACDC shirt. And I think that this was the only thing that I didn't get on sale. Like, I think that this was just regular price. But that's the front of it. And then that's the back. I am so sorry that the lighting was acting up during all of that. That annoys me so bad, but I can't really do anything to fix it. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out at the beach with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.